Hi everyone and welcome to the first edition of Con Conservative New Media Television or Conservative New Media TV. I am pleasantly joined today by Mike Fowler of Politically Censored and Zach Morad who is the Deputy Director of Veterans for Academic Freedom. Now we have a fast paced, intense show for you today so strap in and get ready because we're going to hit you hard and we're going to hit the liberals hard too. First issue, Mike, VAT tax. We've had Paul Volcker, who used to be the guy that, that, that stopped the inflation back in the Reagan days, who's now an advisor, one of the economic advisors for, for President Obama, talking about adding a VAT tax, which is a value-added tax, a European-style tax, to our already existing crazy tax system here. What do you think about that? It's one thing to do a fair tax and eliminate the IRS, a consumption-based tax. It's another thing to throw this on top of all the other taxes. What do you think? It's economic rate. I it's agree with you. No, they're, they're bending the American people over and violating them. That's what this is. It's all it is. It's like we want the honey for free. Right. <laughs> that's right. It's all, it's, that's what Isn't it more tax and spend, it, Zach? I mean, come well, on. Well, absolutely. I think Churchill was the one who said that trying to tax your way uh, out of a recession is like standing in a bucket and trying to yank yourself up. You know, I mean, the last thing we need right now is more taxation. Even JFK, John F. Kennedy said, "You tax a runaway economy. When your when your economy is booming, right? You tax it to slow it down, and then you pull those taxes back when your economy's sluggish." Yeah, exactly. So he's a Democrat, but we don't, apparently don't want to listen to him anymore. No, I mean that's the thing. I mean, what used to be a Democrat is now, I guess, a Republican almost. I mean, it's, it's gotten so crazy. This Democratic Party, I think, people were saying, "Oh, you can't call them socialists." How can you not call them socialists? They've taken over the national, uh, uh, the, they've taken over student loans, they've car taken companies. over banks, they've taken over car companies, they've taken over mortgages, they're trying to do, Student loans? Yeah, they're trying to take over health care, basically, one sixth of the economy. That. They pretty much did that, right? Um, this is, this is the, 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 the next step to the two. Um, Education? I mean, now, and they also want the FCC thing, they want to take over, over free speech. What is going on in this country? I mean, I don't understand how you think you're going to grow the economy when you tax the heck out of people that are working, you know, are working hard. They're not taxing the rich people. Those people already have the money. They can go to another country. They can shelter it nine ways to Sunday. I think it's crazy, but it sounds like we all agree here that this is a very, very bad idea at the wrong time. Well, I'll tell you, John, I just wrote a paper at the esteemed Edmund Burke Institute <laughs> uh, called The South Will Rise Again. And what it is is it's parentalism. The South, which came out of 16th century Spanish culture, yeah brought slavery to this country, and they never have outgrown that, where I'm, and they, they considered benevolent slavery. I'm the smart, good slave master, you, and you, and now me too, uh, are the stupid slave, we'll tax you because we want your labor from you, and then we'll give you food and shelter, and you shut up. Hey, that's crazy. I'm against that. I'm against slavery, indentured servitude, the whole situation. I think that we need to unleash capitalism and unleash economic... Uh, uh, um, explosion in freedom by letting people keep the efforts of their fruits of their labor. As simple as that. Let people be rewarded for working hard and they're going to work hard and they're going to innovate. That's what this country's already done. Let's flip it forward. Obamacare. Now, Obamacare has been passed. And some say this is a government takeover of the health care system. Now, we can disagree on that. We can talk about different things. But the thing that's really funny, I'm sure every... How can we disagree? It's government well, I know. I agree. I think we all agree on this. What's funny that happened just this week is everyone was saying, Nancy Pelosi and others like, hey, we need to pass the bill so people can see what's in it. As soon as we pass it, people are going to love it. People love entitlements. So now we're hearing reports from the Clatchy newspaper that people are calling up, people like e-health, ins e-insurance uh, e and other people like that saying, hey, where's my free Obamacare? And it's not here. Now they're all upset. And they thought they were just going to be all nirvana with all their stuff paid for, just like that woman in Florida where Obama was going to pay for her mortgage and fill up her gas tank and all that kind of stuff. What do you think? Because he has Obama money. Right. right. Well, society has no idea that the, the uh, rich elitists that they've been railing against this whole time is actually themselves. So now all these businesses, <laughs> you know, like, hey, I'm going to get a free entitlement out of this. No, you're going to pay and you're going to cry. Well, tell, tell me, tell me, that's what I want to know. What is the backlash out there? What's the nuts and bolts? I mean, now we have, I've heard reports about small businesses saying, we can't figure this out, it's going to cost them a lot of money, they're trying to lay people off, other people, they are not getting their free health care. What are you hearing out there? Communism was successful because people bought into wishful thinking. Wow. And Obamacare is successful because people bought into wishful thinking. I'm going to vote for this and I'm going to get free stuff and there's no such thing as a free lunch. Somebody's paying and it's going to be this mom and pop shop owner who are the industrial might of this country. They're going to pay. Well, and I think small businesses in California 
are already paying about $170,000 roughly in taxation to government fees due to regulation. This is only going to increase the problem. And in a recession, how do you expect these businesses to be able to stay above profit margin? Or well, just compliance when you're when you're a mom and pop, you know, a, a apple stand or paint shop or something like that. How do you know what you're going to do? You know, what, what insurance do I have to get my employees? How much is it going to cost? If I don't do the insurance, and what what fines do I have to pay? Now, if you don't get insurance or buy it for your employees, you are fined. You might even go to jail. The IRS has hired they're going to hire sixteen thousand agents to check up on you. It's getting really crazy. I don't think people understand this. The question I want to ask you guys, Zach and Mike, is look. Do you think it's going to be like Social Security that now it's passed and people get on it and they're going to be happy with it with, with another like old entitlement social program that we can't get rid of? Or do you think that, th that this is maybe the signs that, hey, people are figuring out that there is no tooth fairy, they're not getting their free stuff, and maybe they're too fed up with the, with the debt levels, with the whole Tea Party thing. Will it, which way will it cut? Is it going to be a net positive for Obama uh, and, and the Democrats in 2010 and 2012, or is it going to cut against them? It's got to hurt them. It's got to hurt them bad. Now, Obama has two thirds of the stimulus money ready to dump right before the election. Right. So, and, and Republicans are not prepared for that. They're not looking out for that. They think, oh, we're riding the front wave. But back to your question in terms of what's happening. In 1940, in, in 1940, when we had Social Security, there was 43 workers for every person on Social Security. Okay, that's a fine system, but it's a Ponzi scheme. Today, three. Wow. Three people must pay the Social Security retirement, your SSI, your uh, health care, your, your health care, your Obamacare. Three must pay for one. And I just heard that as of like a week or two ago, the Social Security is paying more out in benefits than they're taking in taxes. There's nothing there. There's no lockbox. It's 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 effectively bankrupt right now. Zach, what do you think? Is this going to cut for the Democrats or against them? Well, first of all, I want to say if it does end up being anything like Social Security, it's a plan that is doomed to fail. Um, this is the, absolutely our, our current social Ponzi security scheme. system is mm -hmm. a Ponzi scheme. It's not sustainable. Most of this, uh, the bailout money that we've seen into the uh, the, the last two trillion dollars, uh, what was it? Maybe perhaps more has gone into sustaining these these failing uh, social welfare programs. But ultimately, I'm going to have to disagree with Mike and say I think it's going to be a win. Wow! Because give that's what the Democrats because, are betting because, on. They because think it's a win. because. The people that they are, are are going for, right? Their constituencies are, are going to be the ones that benefit from this. And once you give people free money, mm -hmm. you know, once you give the baby a lollipop, try taking it away. And they're not paying taxes. Okay, so it, in in the long run, this is going to be disastrous for the nation. In the short run, and I think for the span of Obama's political career, I think this is going to be a win. And I wow. think it's going to be very hard for the Republicans in the country to repeal these laws. Once they said it, once people start seeing some of this money coming their way, they're going to be, it's going to be very hard to explain to America why you're taking away uh, money from poor people. Mm -hmm. And it's going to make it look like you're, you're victimizing these groups. They're going to be like, why are you stealing right, from They're going to be able babies? to spin this. Why are you stealing right, from That's right, what's scary. Exactly. I mean, they're going to spin exactly. it. Everything that goes wrong they're, is going to be the Republicans because fault. The thing that you're going to see is like, why are the mean, evil conservatives trying to steal money from minorities and old people. Throwing grandma and, on the streets. And, 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 and why is grandma eating cat food? And it's like, well, these, these benefits are, are benefits. They, this is money they were never entitled to in the first place. Can people That's wake up? I mean, with the Tea Party advent here, with people being upset about this, do you think that people are, you know, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, all these great people trying to educate people, like Dave around here, Brian Sussman, all the rest, do you think that people are getting it now Mike, do you think that there's a chance to break through it? Or is it going to be like Zach says, that these people are it's going to be like mainline and heroin, we're never going to get them off, and the next thing we're going to... I'm going with heroin. Is that, do you think, you no, think we're, we're big well, trouble? The history is, is that we have to elect leaders who know what they're doing. Uh -huh. If we don't, then the ship crashes on the rocks. Wow. We only have one captain, right? And it's, it's considered our government. And we have, we have Captain Crazy at the helm, going right for the rocks, through the fog, has no idea what he's doing. So we're in trouble, and... It is going to be a problem, and the only way out of it is to show people the numbers and say, and, they, and George Bush and McCain, and McCain actually tried to stop what's happening with Social Security and said, look, this is going to end, we're coming to a break point in 2012 where there's more money going out than coming in, Social Security's doomed, and there, there's no hope for the future. We had a society that was based 
on the fact that it would continue to grow. It's not right, growing. Social Security was never intended as a retirement plan. No. It was It was so... You weren't even supposed to collect it because right. the actuarial, most people were well, supposed I mean, to die before they even got it, there. It, it, right. If you look at the media at the time during the Great Depression, this was, was so that widowers and, and, and the elderly were literally not living in the street out of boxes. This was basically to sustain the life and to improve the quality of life of people that were hit hard by the Great Depression. It was never intended to be a sustainable retirement plan. 